Science is awesome and I love it so There's still lots and lots of things science don't know There have been major discoveries throughout history But this universe of ours is still one great big mystery Hi, my name is Peter Crowton. And my name is Nita Atom. Today I'm myself and my colleague Anita and our team of <coughs> experts will be showing you some of the most spectacular achievements made in science and technology that has changed the world we live in today. How will you do this, I hear you ask? No, we won't be just talking about the achievements. We're going back in time using our time machine. and do some work for a change. Actually, did you know that one of the most important scientific principles came about with the falling from an apple from a tree? I'll send you back to 1672. You're going to see how important this apple really was. You're going to meet Isaac Newton. Get in! This apple represents the natural force of attraction exerted by the earth. Objects at or near its surface draw towards the center of the body. What's he talking about? He just discovered gravity. What's gravity? What goes up, goes down. Well, why didn't he just say that? It's directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. It's obvious. Why are you always playing with fire? It's one of the most precious and dangerous elements known to man. You need to learn to have some respect, like the caveman who discovered it had. Get the time machine ready. You're going back to 2000 BC to learn some respect. You're going back to see the first ever barbecue, caveman style.
is awesome. Hey! Give me that. You two know nothing about the history of Princes of Flight. It's time you learned. Here, put these on. You're going back to 1902 to meet the Wright brothers. And while you're at it, you two playing with paper boats in your heads can go learn about Christopher Columbus's famous voyage across the Atlantic to America. Get in. You two are going to meet Christopher Columbus. And when they come back, you two are going back to 1903 to meet the right brother. Enjoy the ride. In 1492, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. He had three ships and left from Spain. He sailed through sunshine, wind, and rain. The crew, however, lost their way and moored their ship in Galway Bay. My name is Christopher Columbus. I am a very famous explorer. I have traveled with my crew for many weeks to find this land. I will call it America. What is your name? I hate to talk to those fishermen. America! Oh, yowl! In yowl of a tatawag. Hey, lads. It's a Christopher Columbus show. Captain Shago will see America. These Native Americans talk in a very peculiar dialect. Arash the Vodawak. I can stand on my shirt and throw shin if I got a V. Why should be American can't shin? Come on. Time shin crackle chair. So off they sail in search again for a land without strange fishermen. And did they find it? They did. Hooray! Columbus found the USA. Today, December the 7th, 1903, this deal was made in the skies of America. Wilbur and Orville Wright became the first men to take to the skies in a control flying machine. At approximately 1 p.m., the men fired up the magical machine and it took flight like a giant graceful bird.
After five minutes of gravity defying flying, the birds returned to Earth safely and were greeted by cheering crowds. Wilbur, Wilbur, what was it like up there? It was pretty windy up there, though. It was fun. Orwell, Orwell, how do you feel? I feel like I'm on top of the world. You can probably get there with that flying machine of yours. Damn right! Hey, Wilbur, are you looking for a wife? Because I could be your Mrs. Wright. What will we see next? Men flying to the moon? Nicholas Shaw, RT News, Daytona, Ohio. Science is awesome. Now you're back from history, can anybody tell me what they've learned? Uh, no? no? You! Learned about what? History! What is history? How about you? Not much. How about you? Well, Columbus... No, no. How about you? I didn't really learn what you're supposed to be the experts like. Cheeky. How about you? Uh. I learned something. I learned something. Yes, yes. You should never stand under a ripe apple tree or gravity might knock you out. What? what? You see, after we were watching Newton discovering gravity, there was a scaredner raking under a tree. When all of a sudden, gravity knocked him out. And I love it so There's still lots and lots of things science don't know There have been major discoveries throughout history But this universe of ours is still one great big mystery Why do we sleep? Science doesn't know The history of Prince. Hey, give me that. No, give me that. You, you, you two, you two don't want to be Don't nothing about it. You're gonna see how important this apple really was. You're gonna see how important this apple really was. You're gonna see how important this apple. Ye two are going to meet the Wright brothers, and when they come back, ye two are going. No, she said right, meet the Wright brothers. Oh, okay. so we're to oh get in. Ye two. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh. Take nine. Oh, no. No. America. Oh yeah. In yellow potato walk. He left. <laughs> it should. Free oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hey lads, it's your Christmas. Oh, cheese. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, now here we go. Now don't look at me, look at the apple. Three, two, one. Eureka, of no. course. Oh, Eureka, of course. <laughs> Eureka, of course. Right, start raking it. Brooklyn, you never looked up. The apple. <laughs> I know, I missed, but look up then. Yeah. Stop them! Stop them! <laughs> I did something! I did something! You should never stand under a ripe apple tree! She didn't even let me say my line! Yes, What was it like up there? <laughs> oh, it was pretty windy up there, but it was fun. Orville, how do you feel? I feel like I'm on top of the
us around us. Come out with your hands up. This is your principal, Mr. Frank Kane. Christopher Columbus, I know you're in there. Get back to school.